In this video, I'll be showing you how to round numbers in Notion formulas. So this is the example that we're going to be using in today's video. So as you can see, this table is working out the average sales per day for a particular item, say in an online store. So in this box here, we have the total sales for this item over the entire month. And in this property, we're inputting how many days there are in the current month. And this formula here is then going to work out the average sales per day, which is simply this number divided by this number. Now, as as you can see we have this really long number here with lots of decimal points so in the rest of this video I'm going to show you how you can round this number down to a certain number of decimal points so I firstly want to amend this formula so what I'm going to do is click on here and select edit property and I'm then going to click formula edit to actually bring up the formula so as I said this property is simply the total sales divided by the days in the month and that generates this long number here so notion does actually have a round function that you can use to round this number down to the nearest whole number so to use that function you simply just want to place your cursor here right at the start and I'm simply just going to type the words round open a parentheses and then I'm just going to close this off at the end so you want the formula to be inside these two parentheses here then if I click done as you can see it's now rounded that number down to the nearest whole number so the round function is pretty useful but the main downside to using this function is that there isn't an option to round it to a specific decimal point it's always just going to round it either up or down to the nearest whole number like it did in this case. Don't worry though, there is a trick that we can use to modify the output to get it to round to a certain decimal point. So let's just head back into the formula and I'm simply just going to delete this round function here. But I am going to leave the parentheses here at the start and at the end just to isolate this formula so that we don't mess with it at all. So if I click done, we're now back to that original long number that we had. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply this number by 10. So to do that, I'm just going to use the star symbol, which means multiply, and I'm going to multiply it by 10. So if I now click done, as you can see, that number has been multiplied by 10, so it now looks like this. So we now have one more digit on this side of the decimal point. So let's just go back into the formula. I'm now going to isolate this entire thing so we don't mess with it. So I'm going to add one parentheses at the end here and then another one here at the beginning like this. So now that we've multiplied this by 10, we're now going to round this number down to the nearest whole number. And remember, we can do that simply by adding the round function, open a parentheses and close it again at the end. So this is the number that we had. So if I just click done to apply the round function, we've got rid of all of those decimal points and we're now just left with this number at the start. But obviously this isn't the number that we originally wanted to round. So let's just go back into the formula and we're now going to divide it by 10. So you want to use the forward slash symbol here to divide. And if I then click done, as you can see, it's simply just going to add that decimal point back into place. So we've now successfully managed to round this to one decimal point. Now, if you wanted to round this to two decimal points, let's just go back into the formula and you simply just want to change this modifying number, which is the number 10 to 100. So if I just add another zero on each of these, so it's now multiplying by 100, then dividing by 100, that is now going to change it to two decimal points. So let's click done. We now have two decimal points. And if you wanted it to be three decimal points, points again just add another zero so we're going to multiply and divide by a thousand and that's going to change it to three decimal points so basically the number of zeros that you have in this number here is going to be the same as the number of decimal points that you have up here so that is how you can round numbers in notion i did just want to show you two other formulas that notion have which do rounding but they work a little bit different to the round function so firstly let me just edit this property and i'm just going to delete all of this round function that we have here so as you can see we're now back to the original formula with all of the decimal points so the next function that I want to show you is the floor function which always rounds a number down so if it's 3.1 it will round it down to 3 if it's 3.5 it will round it down to 3 even if it's 3.999 it will still round it down to 3 so this is the number we have so if we use the floor function it will be rounded down to 437 even if this number here was 0.9 it would still round it down to 437 so to use the floor function you simply just want to type in floor open and close the parentheses with the formula inside and if I click done it's going to round it down so the difference between floor and round is that floor will always round it down whereas round will simply round it to the nearest whole number so if you have 3.9 floor would round that down to 3 whereas round would round that up to 4 and the final function that I want to share with you is the seal function which stands for ceiling and this always rounds it up so if you have 2.9 it would be round rounded up to three even if you had 2.003 it would still be rounded up to three because it always rounds up 
So to use this function, you simply want to add seal like this, open and close parentheses. So this number here will be rounded up to 438. So if I click done, as you can see, it has now rounded it up. And that's it, that's how you can round numbers in Notion. If you want to be even more productive, then make sure you check out my Second Brain template, which is an advanced productivity system. It has tons of five-star reviews from people that have used it. You can grab this template over on my store. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find the video useful, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I do upload new Notion tutorials like this one every single week.